So let's go ahead and look at the last Neon Belly Escape. Uh, this is the Running Man Escape, or Running Escape. I said Running Man Escape. It's the Running Escape. Okay, so same position, Neon Belly. And I'll show two different ways to do this, and both are acceptable. It just kind of largely depends on what you like to do and your, you know, what you like. Um, so the way that I like to do it is I'll take my right hand, more my elbow, and I'll turn, scrape it off, and then I'm just kind of doing my running escape into closed guard here, okay? So for that one, it's very easy. I just want to turn in the opposite direction so I can get my elbow right on his knee here. And as I begin to invert, I'm scraping the, the knee off using my elbow, inverting, and coming to closed guard. Um, if you don't like that version, another way we can do it, it's a little bit more methodical, a couple more steps to it. It's really just like the push the leg and shrimp, but then we're going to go ahead and add the running escape to it. So I'm going to bring my hands right on the inside of the knee. I'm going to push the leg and shrimp, and then once I'm here, I can come to the other side and get back to closed guard. Okay, so that one one more time. Hands on the inside, right? Push the leg and shrimp. And as we have this space, this opportunity here, I invert to the other side. Get back to an open or closed guard. Okay? So that is the last neon belly escape. The running escape. Not running man. Running man. Running. Running escape.